Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skelton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about why 90% of your research article submission got DEX rejected. What is the reason behind it? Let's find out. My dear learners, as you know that many of our researchers, especially the novice and early researchers, they submit different journals and sometimes they got the notification that your research article is not suitable to our journal or maybe it is not aligned with our aims and scope so immediately from the dex editorial board it got rejected now what are the main two reasons that these type of articles get rejected from the editorial dex rejection number one is that and in my opinion is one of the best remember my dear learners that the whole article or whole manuscript or whole research paper the dex editor is not going to read is not going to study because it is not his work this is the work for reviewers the external reviewers but to pass the dex editorial board to go to the reviewer there is a process and there are three main reasons why your paper get dex rejection okay number one is the lack of research gap you remember my dear learners we do data analysis we write different type of qualitative quantitative studies so many works we have done in the methodological part but we forget to remember the main task in the introduction part because in the introduction in the first two or three par paragraph if you do not mention what is the significant research gap that you are looking for then there is no way your paper get to the next step meaning that go to the reviewer cases because most of the scopus index journals they have so many submissions from different parts of the world so why would they accept your paper to send it to the reviewer if there is no significant research gap exist in the introduction so the first thing is please mention the research gap in the first two paragraph even better if you put it in the first paragraph with some referencing okay the second reason why dex rejection got many manuscript publication is the lack of journal formatting for example we never focus on the author guideline and every journal whether it is elsevier springer taylor and francis sage inder science world scientific no matter which publication houses you go there is a author guideline and if you do not follow the author guideline properly and if you do not properly design your research article or manuscript according to the author guideline it will be dex rejected immediately and we do not focus that we always focus on the language we always focus on the methodology we always focus on the other aspects of the research manuscript but formatting your research article is immensely important in order to get past the dex rejection to get dex editorial acceptance you need to focus the formatting of your research article based on the author guideline of the journal for example elsevier springer they have word template follow the template design your manuscript and then submit to the journal and then it should not be a big problem for the re the dex editor to pass your manuscript for the next step now the next one and the final one is the plagiarism nowadays many researchers and many youtube channels are promoting to take the help from the ai and write on behalf of you introduction maybe methodology but you know my dear learners when you buying this expensive ais that will not ensure fully that it is plagiarism free there is always similarity there is always plagiarism exist there is always presence of ai tools application in your manuscript so in my opinion always be honest try to use paraphrasing tools and put the words according to your merit and your percep perception as well as the context i'm not against the ai but i am not saying depending on the ai you should write the full manuscript i am saying 
you make a balance between AI use and your writing. It is very important that you yourself paraphrase the key important paragraphs of the research article. And that will ensure a low similarity, low plagiarism index, which is one of the criteria to pass the DEX editorial board. So remember, my dear learners, there are three important reasons why your paper get DEX rejection. As you know, there are two types of DEX rejection. One is immediate DEX rejection, and the next one is to check the journal similarity and cross-ref, and then it go to the journal reviewer stage. To pass the DEX editorial board, number one, remember, put the research gap or research problem first paragraph of your manuscript in the introduction. Secondly, always format your research paper according to the author guideline. Do not skip that. Do not skip a single line to format your research article according to the author guideline of the journal. And finally, avoid plagiarism and similarity. If you follow these three important steps, your paper will get past the DEX editorial board. It will go to the reviewer and reviewer will give you major or minor revision. Then there is always chance to review your article and get a good publication in a Scopus Index journal. I hope this video is useful for you. I will see you in the next tutorial with some exciting research information. Until then, bye-bye.